Yo, what's up guys, Dual Glossy and Legends back with another video. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to make a lava brick using script. So, obviously, in order to make a lava brick, you're going to need a part. So, in order to add a part, you're going to need this window open at home. Go to insert, and then pick whatever part you want. So, let's say I want to do a block. It's like rectangular, just like the base plate. So, all you have to do next to make the lava brick is... You gotta like customize the part the way you want it first, and then after we're gonna be adding a script. So I'm gonna make the lava brick like I'm gonna make it just like those sticks, like the lasers, the lasers or whatever they're called in obbies. I'm gonna make it like this. So you could freely customize the part however you want it. I highly suggest anchoring it before you do anything, so the part won't fall when you play. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, go to properties. And Explorer, you could find it in view and hit these two. And I'm gonna just change the properties of the part to make it look better. So let's say I want to change the color to red, and I want to change the material to um, let's just say neon, I guess, for this. And now we got the um lava brick. All right. So after you finish customizing your part however you want it, there's like so many ways you could do it. Next thing we gotta do is we gotta add the script. And we're gonna type the script in too. So I gotta add a new script. Hold up. You gotta hit you gotta have explore and properties open. And you have to go to view if you want to enable them. So what you gotta do is you gotta go to explorer, hit plus next to workspace, and then search up script. Do not pick local mo module for this one, just pick normal script. And then next thing you're gonna do is we're gonna add it to the part. Feel free to name the part whatever you want. So I'm gonna name it Lava Brick. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna um we're gonna add the script now. We're gonna start typing. So the first thing we gotta type is we gotta like declare a variable. So let's say I wanna do local lava equals to script parent. So as you see right now, we're declaring a variable, and then the next thing is we got to add a touch event and then we're going to add a connect function. So in order to do that, we're going to have to say local function space kill and then parentheses and then after hit one arrow right and then hit enter again and it makes it. And the last thing we're going to type under N is, is lava dot touch dot um I mean connect and then after we're gonna write kill from local function kill so this is the this is when we declare a variable and this is when we connect the variable and then this is like the touch event basically the next thing we gotta do is we gotta add a parameter called other part for the kill function so basically it's getting the touching part so inside the parentheses of kill right over here where my mouse is, we gotta type other part. And then the next thing we get, next thing we gotta do is we gotta state the character and view mode so it would know that like we're touching it. So we're gonna type local part parent equals to um other part dot parent. So now we we got the character and humanoid set up. And then the next thing we gotta do to add on is we gotta talk more about the humanoid. So we're gonna type local humanoid equals to part parent um and then find first child humanoid. So it should look something like this right now, your code. So the humanoid is basically the player because obviously if we join in right now, it's going to show that I'm a humanoid. So if you see when I join in and then I hit enter workspace and then I look over here, this is me. 
And if you want proof, obviously I could control myself, could make myself fall and stuff. If you hit inside, you'll see it says humanoid. So that's targeting us. So the next thing we gotta do is we gotta set our health to zero. So we're gonna hit enter next. It's gonna check the humanoid and then we're gonna type the command on what to do. So we're gonna write if humanoid, then, and then hit enter. We're gonna set the character's health now to zero. So humanoid dot health equals to zero. And that's pretty much it for the code. Now let's see if it actually works. So if you don't know how to what to use this brick for, you could use it for like multiple stuff like obbies or like I don't know. It's like there's a lot of things out there, like mostly for obbies though. So this is my lava brick. And obviously if you touch lava you should die or something. So let's try walking to it. And also for people, please don't do this in real life. But <coughs> as you see I died. Like obviously if you touch something hard, you get burned. But if it's like too hot, then you die. So you could use this for obbies, like I said earlier. Like you gotta jump over it like this. Like this would be cool. Adding other stages and stuff. And you could also do a combination of like lava bricks. To make the obby more fun. So the person's supposed to jump on it. Just like what I'm doing. But sometimes the person could be like careless. And then instead of jumping, they're like. <coughs> they either like missed the jump or they just jumped to the wrong area and that's pretty much it if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video